CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Hudson Mack is off tonight. Police are looking for a motorcyclist who posted a video online of a highway joyride that reached breakneck speeds of nearly 300 kilometers per hour. Since last week, more than 16,000 people have watched the reckless rider rocketing in and out of traffic on the Trans-Canada Highway. And as Saanich police investigate, Vancouver Island's biking community is speaking out, saying the rider gives motorcyclists a bad name. But who that rider is remains a mystery, one that CTV News is working to crack. CTV's Joe Perkins has the story. taking and causing right there is out of control. The video is shocking. A motorcyclist blowing past cars, weaving between vehicles at speeds just shy of 300 kilometers an hour. It looks so dangerous. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's going against traffic. It isn't the first reckless driving video to be posted to YouTube. Others such as this one from a biker known as Ghost Rider show similar behavior. But the latest video from an island rider has sparked discussion, particularly online where bloggers are calling out for the person's arrest, even offering up tips. We've been provided more than one name from the community and uh, really our investigator is in receipt uh, of these names and he's actively pursuing them. One post claims the writer is Randy Scott and provides a link to his Facebook page. There, CTV News found photos, including this undated one of a motorcycle next to a police car with a caption that reads, No license, no insurance, no license plate. Got called in for 250 on my way to the ferry. CTV News sent Randy Scott a message asking if he was the man behind the wheel in this video. He replied, Cops seized the bike on Friday. I don't have a bike license and the bike in question has never been insured. Wasn't me. Are Saanich police investigating a man by the name of Randy Scott? Again, we have more than one name. Police will not confirm if Randy Scott is under investigation or if any charges are pending. On the BC court registry, CTV News found a similar name, a Randy George Scott who has run into problems with the law in the past, charged with several driving infractions including speeding on Vancouver Island. An online search shows 13 court appearances, all in Victoria since 2008. Local riders say the video is the last thing motorcyclists need. It certainly affects the way people think about us. You know, and uh, reading some of the comments on the YouTube, people saying, I'll open my doors. He says it's an unnecessary black cloud over the riding community put there by a rider hiding behind a video. We are going to push us as far as it'll go. Everything is on the table. Whoever posted the daredevil thrill ride is getting the attention he or she was looking for. Randy Scott, CTV News contacted on Facebook, says he is not the rider. 
Joe Perkins joins us live with more on the story. Joe, the video is certainly turning some heads. Yeah, it is, Andrew. And uh, we must be very clear that uh, the Randy Scott in our story has not been charged with any wrongdoing and nothing has been proven in a court of law. Police will not confirm that he is one of the people under investigation, although Scott was willing to discuss the video behind me over Facebook. He declined an on-camera interview and told us several times that he was not the rider. Police are asking any witnesses if they saw a blue Yamaha zip by them on the Trans-Canada Highway or if they see their vehicle in the video to come forward. Andrew? That should be quite a few people. Thanks, Joe. The motorcycle stunt is getting a reaction in the halls of the B.C. legislature as well. Many of B.C.'s MLAs are riders themselves, and that includes the Minister of Transportation who says the behaviour is shocking and very irresponsible. I mean, any time you see that kind of behavior, whether it's a motorcyclist or somebody driving a vehicle, it's got to concern anybody, uh, not just the individual uh, that's doing that irresponsible kind of behavior, but the safety of others on the highway. So no, it's not acceptable at all. Use that kind of speed on the racetrack and leave it there. It's just so stupid to do something like that. To put yourself in danger and to put all the other people on the road in danger like that. And, and then to decide that you want to go show everybody on the internet. It's just, just the height of dumb. The Premier was asked if vehicles that can travel at more than 200 kilometers per hour should be banned. She shrugged that question off. BC's Transportation Minister says he's gone more than 200 kilometers per hour on his bike on the racetrack where there are proper safety measures in place. CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening, I'm Andrew Johnson. Hudson Mack is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. The motorcycle rider accused of racing up the Trans-Canada Highway at nearly 300 kilometers an hour, weaving in and out of traffic at breakneck speeds, is now facing the slow wheels of the justice system. Sanish police say after months of searching for the suspected reckless rider, he has turned himself in, surrendering to Kelowna RCMP. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. It is a video that's left many speechless. Three months after this jaw-dropping road race surfaced on YouTube, Saanich police are saying the words many have longed to hear. Randy Scott has turned himself in. He, at present, is in the custody of the Kelowna RCMP detachment. Last night, just before 7, the man police allege was behind the handlebars of the Yamaha R1, weaving in and out of traffic at speeds close to 300 kilometres an hour, walked into the Kelowna RCMP headquarters and turned himself in. Mr. Randy Scott attended the front counter of the Kelowna RCMP and uh, identified himself and uh, advised that he had a, an outstanding warrant. Uh, from Saanich Police Department uh, for a uh, dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. Today, 25-year-old Randy Scott appeared in a Kelowna courthouse, charged with one count of dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. Last month, a warrant was issued for Scott's arrest. It's likely that uh, the uh, attention that was drawn to this particular uh, incident and to Mr. Scott himself has, uh, has led to him turning himself in. Although you cannot see who is driving the reckless bike, Saanich police are confident they have enough evidence to prove Scott was at the helm. We would not have satisfied the requirements to get to this stage uh, if there wasn't uh, a degree of comfort in what we're saying is accurate. There's a, at least three specific witnesses that will bring uh, information forward uh, that will come out in court. But this lawyer who specializes in criminal traffic cases involving motorcycles is not so sure. Uh, on the basis of the video evidence alone, it would be really problematic. Um, I've heard that the police have witnesses that can link the action to a specific time, a specific location, and a specific person. So then it's a, just a garden variety uh, case involving uh, excess speed and, uh, and dangerous driving. Randy Scott was released on bail this afternoon in Kelowna. He is not allowed to be behind the wheel of any vehicle, including a motorcycle. He will appear in a Victoria courtroom August 16th. Louise Hartland joins us now live with more on the story. Louise, more than a million people have viewed the video of the motorcycle racing down the highway. Did that help or hurt the police investigation? 
Andrew Saanich police say they were at a loss to figure out who was riding the bike when the video first surfaced, but credit the public and the tips that came in with charging the alleged rider. We understand Scott is still in a cell in Kelowna right now. He is required to post $500 cash bail before he is released and have a responsible adult sign a $2,000 assurity for him. He must also provide his bail supervisor with an address he cannot change before he appears in court here next month. All right, thanks for the update.